Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am so excited to film this video because oh my gosh, oh look, oh my gosh. Can you see that? January 8th of 2016 and I know I know that Hot Look says, you know, it'll be like two to three weeks before we ship out your product. Why? Why? I just, I don't understand. It took over a month. I got these on the 9th of February, so I know, petty saying over a month, but it was over a month for me to get these freaking lip products. I'm glad I got a great deal on them, but Hot Look doesn't have free shipping unless you spend what, like a hundred dollars? And so I had to pay for shipping. And yet, even though I paid for shipping, it takes a month, over a month, to get product to me. But yet, Sephora, I could order something for $25 and get free shipping and it'll be here in two days. I don't know, maybe I'm being unreasonably upset. Because like I said, Hotlook does say that. I just don't understand why their shipping takes so long when I pay like eight bucks for shipping. It's what, like $7.95? Ooh. Rant aside, these are the products that I ordered from Hot Look. So many of you have wanted me to test out these Ofra liquid lipsticks. I didn't want to pay full price for them. They're what, like 18 bucks full price? Nah. Nah. So when I saw these were on Hot Look and they were only nine bucks a piece, was it eight bucks, nine bucks? We'll just say nine bucks to be safe. I'm pretty sure they were half off, so I was like, tis the time. I'll nab a few of them for you guys, swatch them, test them out, all that jazz. The colors do not look how they looked online, which I'm okay with a couple of them. This one I'm scared of, but you know what? That's okay. I will still be testing them out regardless of whether the color looks good on me or not. You guys know how I roll, going out with ugly makeup all the time. But yeah, let's hop on to Ofra's website really quick here and read about the product to make sure I don't mess up any of the claims or get my hopes up or anything for promises that they never promised in the first place. Like I said, these are the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks and oof, I was incorrect about the price. These are actually more expensive than I thought. These are $19.90 USD. There are a lot of colors. There are 41 colors currently on their website and there really are a huge spread of colors. There are purples, berries, golds. There's a little bit of something for everyone here. So if you do want a crazy colored liquid lipstick, Ofra is apparently the place to go for that. There is eight grams of product in each one of these. And Ofra claims that these are a one-step full lip color that does not feather. These vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. Yeah, with some of those colors, that's for darn sure. They're creamy and soft in texture. They're going to moisturize the lips and give a long-lasting lipstick effect. It's a matte color formula, but if you want to add some shine, well, okay, promo more of their products. It's supposed to be lightweight and look stunning all day. It's going to last in perfect condition up to five hours without eating or drinking. So please note, this is not a lip stain and does not dry completely, but it will remain on the lips for hours. So I'm glad at least Ofra is straight up and they do say, you know, this is not gonna last through eating or drinking, it's not gonna last more than five hours, etc., etc. But still, I'm curious to see how these liquid lipsticks do. They are quite famous on YouTube. This is absolutely a YouTube made me buy it. So before we get on into the product, swatch it and everything here, let's go ahead and sing the song together, shall we? YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it. All right, like I said, I've got three colors here. The very first color here is the lightest of them all. This is called Pasadena, and it is a nice mauve nude color, at least for me. I also got the color Santa Ana, and this just looks like such a gorgeous, rich mauve berry. It's definitely got an impact to it. It's more of like a rose berry, if you will. And then last up, I got Americano. I don't know what possessed me. I'm pretty sure it's just because online the color looked a lot different. This is a brown, 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 brown sienna color. It's either gonna look atrocious or okay on me. You tell me, you're looking at the swatches right now. How did it look? 
How did these look? How did they apply? I technically haven't tried them yet, but I guess I'll do... Which one should I test? I feel like this one could be patchy just because it's a lighter color and so I'm scared. I'll do this one. I'll do Santa Ana just to like, so people aren't like, well, you tried the one that's not very good in formula. Mer. Anyways, so here's Santa Ana. The packaging is pretty standard. It's just plastic. It's got the Ofra label stickered on there. It's not actually on there. This one around the rim is, but here we go. Mm, it's got a nice, nice vanilla buttercream scent. These smell quite similar to the NYX soft matte lip creams. Something's telling me these are gonna be like exactly that formula. <laughs> but let's get you zoomed in here. As you can see, I have nothing on my lips. They are so dry. I want something on my lips so bad. So let's put something on my lips. This is apparently supposed to be moisturizing, so yay. There you go, that was just with the first dip there in the applicator. It is very, very, very nearly identical to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. If you want, I did a first impression and everything on those. I'll have it linked down below if you want to check that out. However, this one does feel a lot drier, a bit less moussey in texture, I would say, but it is still one of those like mousse lip things. It's not a liquid lipstick. Like it says, it's like a mousse lipstick. And as you can see, it will transfer, but that's really not that bad. Granted, I wasn't really pushing too hard on my hand there, but it does look like it got pretty darn matte. I'm okay with this, you guys. It does not feel hydrating at all. My lips just feel naked and like I want a chapstick real bad. But uh, whew, I'm glad, application, yay! If you ever wonder what I do or what I listen to while I'm swatching these, uh, there you go, <laughs> behind the scenes. So I'm eating my words right now. I really like this color, this Americano color. This is so unique. I think that's why I like it so much. Don't get me wrong. I actually really like all three of these colors that I got. I just feel like I own things similar to these. I don't think I own any exact dupes to these colors, but similar colors. I don't have anything this color and even though it is a brown 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 sienna it's got enough of like a brick red undertone to it where I think it doesn't look crazy on me you know. Oh I really I really like this color. <laughs> These do have a bit of a stick to them at least right now. See it's one of those kind of a lipsticks. They really are super lightweight. They do not feel moisturizing at all because they are so lightweight. It really just feels like I have nothing on my lips. That being said, we will see, you know, if my lips end up looking super chapped or anything at the end of the day, or if they look just like this at the end of the day, that will tell us whether or not these were moisturizing or not in terms of just not making my lips look all flaky like this side of my mustache does right now. I've got <sighs> random, patches of dry skin on my face right now. I apologize if I need to apologize. Um, that's just life though, especially in the Minnesota winters when I think it's four degrees outside. I don't even want to know what it is with wind chill, but anyways, these were super duper easy to apply on the lips. Pasadena did need two or three dips in here. For whatever reason, the doe foot on this one didn't pick up color as well, or product as well, I guess I should say. And I don't know what they were talking about, that these are not lip stains, but you could see, maybe, did I leave that clip in there? But when I was taking Santa Ana off of my lips, I had to like scrub at it. It was super stained on there, and I had only had that on my lips for maybe two minutes tops. It makes me super curious to see what these are gonna look like after after eating, even though it says it's not gonna last through eating, I've got a feeling it's gonna hang in there a little bit. You know, that's what these videos are for. We shall see. I'll be wearing this throughout the day. I will be taking you guys along with me for my day. Like always, we will see how these do. Right now, I'm just gonna be filming another video. It's gonna be an empties video. Nothing too crazy otherwise. I think I'm just running a bunch of errands. Super exciting day, am I right? Am I right?
that's just my life right now. It is currently 1.02 in the afternoon. I do not know why it says a.m. It's p.m. So yeah, I am just gonna go ahead and do all of that. I will check in with you guys when I am done with all of that. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have a snack at some point this afternoon. I had a late breakfast, so no lunch today, but I'll be eating something soon. So I will probably check in with you guys when that happens. So I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye. <laughs>
they're really nice. As always, I just hope the review was helpful for you or you found it entertaining. Maybe both, that would be the best. If so, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up down below. I really would appreciate it. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!